Hey, how's it going? My name is Joey Cook. I am 25 years old, based in New York City. Um, I am five foot nine and a half, the half an inch being very important. And um, fun fact about me, I studied theater and film at a university in Seoul, South Korea. Um, a little bit experience or I guess a little bit of my personal experience with Dungeons and Dragons. I am a huge fan of tabletop games, period. Um, but when it comes specifically to Dungeons and Dragons, um, I have quite a bit of experience. Uh, I've been playing for years and years and years. Um, I've played um, in-person campaigns, one shots, as well as been part of uh, Reddit groups and forums and uh, discord servers that do like one shots and have like full campaigns on the side so i've been a part of a couple of those groups um as far as just wizards of the coast and hasbro in general as well um i play i'm a huge fan of magic the gathering obviously there's a crossover there um any of the Baldur's gate video games i'm also a huge fan of rpgs in general um i have both been the dm and the player and yeah, honestly, if there's a 20-sided die and a character sheet, I'm there. And if I can play a bard, then I'm definitely there. And I will definitely be coming up with some sick rhymes to cast my spells. Um, a funny story. Um, one time I went to this summer camp event to impress a girl. Um, she was like, oh my God, it would be so much fun. Like you should come and I was like, Okay, so it'll, it'll be like a summer camp, you know, maybe some volleyball, maybe like some kickball. It'll be super cool. So I get there and turns out it is a mud run, which is just a giant obstacle course and tug of war in just giant pits of mud. And I'm not going to say no to a mud run. So when they asked me, hey, you ready for the mud run? I was like, of course I'm ready for the mud run. I was anticipating it the entire time. So I do the mud run, and on my way home, it was late. The only thing that was open at the time was McDonald's, and I had to go through the drive through of a McDonald's completely covered from head to toe in mud. And the conversation that I had with the old, the old lady at the window was one of discomfort, and it was one of awkwardness, and I would not wish that upon my worst enemy. Uh, but that aside, I actually never ended up seeing that girl ever again. <laughs> so uh, that's a bit of uh, not, not, not my uh, proudest moment, but a funny one nonetheless. Always a good story. Uh, and yeah, that's a little bit about me. This is it, the room to which all paths lead. And though seemingly empty, its mere presence is astounding. High vaulted ceilings of stone rise high above you. Stalactites big enough to crush you hang threateningly above. And in the middle of the room, a whirling vortex of water and noise, a lake corrupted by magic, swirling in constant motion, threatening to devour anything that can't fight against its currents. But you were not able to merely gaze upon the majesty of the room for long. From the middle of the lake, a creature arises. Not just any creature, no. The creature. From first glance, you know that this has been your quarry all along. Though even now, your minds cannot comprehend exactly what it is. What will you do? Roll for initiative. All right, so the character that I chose was the hooded crow figure. Um, to me, this is Squeevold. He was originally a human, 
uh, but was caught stealing gold pieces off of the headstone in a cemetery. And an old witch saw him doing this and cursed him into the form of a crow or a raven, which is seen as like the symbol of death. Um, and so obviously he's a rogue, but he's a thief through and through. Uh, if I had to give him a catchphrase, it would be penny for your thoughts. Ah, to hell with it. I'll take the whole brain. So very hunched over, very sinister. He's just really trying to get into your pockets. Um, he's not exactly the sneakiest of thieves. He's more so the, uh, let me put a dagger to your throat and see what I can get from you. Um, but yeah, that's Squeevold to me.